To do a woven wheel stitch, start out with a lot more floss than you normally would. This is going to take a lot. Start from the end of one of these lines. And follow that line to bring your needle back down to the center. Continue to do that for each of these lines. You should have an odd number of lines. If you're doing a bigger flower, you might want to do more lines than just the five that I have here. I wouldn't do less than five though. Once you have all of your lines, go ahead and bring your needle up near the center, but not in the center. And what we're going to do is a weaving pattern all around the entire wheel, hence the name woven wheel. Uh, so we're going to be going over this line and under this one, over this one, under this one. So let me just show you. So we're going over that and under this one and pull the thread all the way through. We're going to go over this one and under this one. over this one, under this one. So then you'll notice that every time you go around, you're alternating which ones you're going over and under. So last time we went under this one, and now we're going over it. If you run out of thread while you're stitching your woven wheel, you can go ahead and, so we just went under this line and now we're gonna go over this one and go to the one that you would go under next. And instead of going under it, just take the needle and push it through in that spot to the back of your hoop. Then you can come to the back and secure the thread by weaving it under the center here. And I actually like to weave it under a couple times and then leave a loop so that I can tie a knot just like that. And then you could, if you're out of thread, which I'm not yet, but you can go ahead and trim that off and then tie a knot in your new piece. And then you're gonna wanna come up in the same spot. So here's the one that we pretended to go under, but we went instead through to the back. So now we're gonna come up from the back on the other side of this line giving the appearance that we actually just took the needle underneath that line like we were supposed to. So then continue to stitch around just like before. As your flower gets bigger, your needle or the thread might have a tendency to try and um, go over the top of the flower like this and you don't want it to do that. So if it starts to do that, just kind of guide it off to the side like that and make sure it ends up going around the flower and not across it. As you're stitching this, be careful that you also don't pull your thread too tight, otherwise it's gonna end up going underneath your work. Um, you want it to be secure, but not so tight that it's going to distort your shape that you're making. Once you've covered up all of those lines, go ahead and go to the, the one that you would have gone under again and bring your needle through to the back instead of going under. Once you're at the back, secure your thread by bringing it up through the middle a couple of times, leaving a loop there and tying a knot. And that is how you make a pretty woven wheel flower.